Hello, Beer Bauer Lab. Today we're gonna learn how to make 0.1 molar of PBS. We're gonna be making one liter of that. And my job is to show you the step-by-step -step process and how we're gonna accomplish that. Here are some of the things we're gonna be needing. We're gonna be needing 0.2 molar of dibasic PBS, 0.2 molar of monobasic PBS, and also we're gonna be using uh, DIH2O or deionized water. A couple other materials you'll be needing. A, a, a beaker or a flask that's at least one liter and also a graduated cylinder for measuring. So first at first, you're gonna have to know how much of uh, dibasic and how much of monobasic you're gonna be needing for this. Luckily for you guys, we have it uh, calculated right over here. For any questions on different, uh, for different volumes, as long as this is still there, you guys should refer to this. So there's just a, you know, a couple other variations in volumes. So, so to make one liter of the PBS, what we're gonna do first is we're gonna get this dye basic. We're gonna get, we're gonna measure 305 milliliters of this. So first that's first, start pouring. You wanna get eye level with the graduated cylinder so you can see exactly how much you're pouring in. So we're gonna go for 305. So we're gonna get it. Now put it in our beaker. And that was our dye basic. Now we're gonna get 195 mils of our mono basic. And we're gonna use a smaller graduate cylinder for this one just because it'll be easier to know exactly how much you guys have. So we're gonna get our mono basic and for 195 mLs. So we're gonna do, we're gonna let it mix a bit while we go and get our deionized H2O. So now we're gonna get this bigger graduated cylinder and get 500. So now that's all mixed. What we're gonna do now is now we're gonna add our 500 milliliters of both. It's gonna be 500 milliliters of combined dibasic and monobasic to our 500 milliliters of deionized water. After we do that, we're gonna QS it to one, one, one liter. For those of you who don't know what QS means, basically what we're gonna do is Whatever this total amount of volume adds up to, we're just gonna add more deionized de water to make sure it, it adds up to a total of one liter. And just wanna make sure you don't drop your stir bar in here. 
So now we're gonna go back to DI water and now QS it to one liter. There we go. Now we have one liter exactly. So we're gonna put it into our flask. I'm gonna put our stir bar in here. Put our mix solution in here now. And again, we're gonna stir it so we allow it to properly mix. So you don't have to stir it too much. Give it about a minute. And once you have it completely stirred, you can put it in your beaker. And we'll get to that in just a moment. Now while this is stirring, important to know is labeling of your beaker. Very important for the science community just because a lot of these solutions look the same. Example one. So, because they look very similar, but they can be very different in chemical properties, you have to label everything. First thing first is labeling molarity. So this is gonna be 0.1 molar, and then next would be what the solution is. So 0.1 molar of PBS, you're gonna wanna put the pH of what you're using. Next important is the day that you made it and the names of the people who assisted in making the solution. That way, if anything goes wrong, they're coming after you. Go. Now you're just going to want to get a funnel to avoid any mess. And start pouring. Make sure you don't over pour so you don't overflow your funnel and make a mess. We are anti mess in this lab. And just like that, guys, we made one liter of PBS. And then the edit is gonna be when I wink, you add the sparkle to it. Yeah. Okay? <laughs>